sequestration is about solubility, which is dependent upon both polarity and intermolecular forces. We have a beaker of water, and we have a sugar cube with a circle that has been placed on it using the pencil lead. It's actually graphite, not lead. And what we're going to do is place the sugar cube within the beaker of water. And we can see immediately that the graphite floated to the top. And the sugar cube is starting to slowly break down. What this implies is that the sugar has a similar polarity and intermolecular forces to water, while the graphite has different polarity and different intermolecular forces as it is not dissolving within the water. This is approximately 15 to 20 seconds later. As we can see, the sugar cube has almost completely broken apart. Again, this is implying that it has the same polarity as water and similar intermolecular forces as water. And we can see that the graphite still remains on the top of the water. And again, that indicates that the graphite has a different polarity and different intermolecular forces as water.